3,450 signed petitions uh, from resident voters of Clarkstown voicing their support for the implementation of term limits. I want to stress here and now, this is not political. Clarkstown Taxpayers Group sponsored and initiated this movement, which has spread across town in an unprecedented way, crossing all political parties and groups. I'm presenting this proposition to you as a citizen voter, not affiliated with or registered with any political party in Rockland. And what is proposed does not seriously impact any of you or your current position or re-election plans. This proposition states that beginning 2012, irrespective of how long you have served in office, tenure for town board members would be limited to eight years. Nothing is retroactive or designed to target anyone. You as our elected member representatives have the authority to act on this mandate and limit the length of time town board members may serve, thus promoting opportunities for interested citizens to consider service in the future for a stated amount of time. You have options as follows. Term limits for the future can be very easily accomplished by motion and majority of the town board. Alternatively, if you're uncomfortable with this, I would suggest that in spite of the numbers of citizens favoring it, just move to place a yes or no question on the ballot. If you're planning to do this with the tax collector and the highway department, allow the citizens to decide this as well. In closing, the time for change, this change in the town code has come. The public has spoken and demands action now. On behalf of the thousands of signatures, I implore all of you to act responsibly and move to enact term limits for the future. National, state, and local support for this issue is widespread, and I think Clarkstown has the opportunity to demonstrate real leadership and show the will of the government will indeed be considered and acted upon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.
position like the supervisor, term limits would likely have the effect of making the most likely candidate someone who is older and near retirement, since an eight-year detour in a younger person's life and career was a very uninviting process. This is an undemocratic result. If government should be run out of business, <laughs> surely a business wouldn't fire a successful executive. That decision should be left up to the sheriff's which in this case is the voters. 